And now for a little escapism, all the Israel tourism related news that you should probably hear. And taking us away, ILTV reporter Marnie Shamroth. Marnie, take it away. Thank you, Aaron. So let's get started. The sky's the limit now with more than 80 countries allowing people to travel without taking any COVID tests. This is groundbreaking, no pun intended, since we've been waiting for a long time to travel without the chaotic stress of planning COVID tests. With all of this happening, Israel is also considering canceling their PCR tests at the entry of the country. As of now, people who are entering or leaving Israel have to take private COVID tests that could cost between 60 to 80 shekels. That adds up really quickly. So now the spread of the virus is decreasing, but the health ministry is still not fully convinced that this is the right move and are concerned that we'll have another corona wave, which I don't know if we can honestly handle that any longer. But the alternative option is to do sample tests only from specific countries. So this could affect the traffic at Ben Gurion Airport as today the test complex is located in the terminal areas that subtracts to 45 counters for testing. If the number of tests are reduced, the number of test counters can be increased for the benefit of the passengers, hopefully. And I have even more good news. Just a week after the USA removed their mask mandate on airplanes, Israel also might follow its lead. After two years of getting used to wearing masks on flights, Israel is considering canceling it. At first, the obligation to wear masks on domestic flights was removed after it was decided to remove them in public spaces throughout the country. So does this mean that we'll soon be able to finally enjoy traveling internationally without masks? The health ministry has not made any decisions as of yet, especially after the discovery of a new variant that arrived in Israel from South Africa. Great, another one. But we're keeping our fingers crossed and hope that we can travel freely again like we used to, God willing. And now that Passover is behind us, there seems to be a drop in prices in vacation packages. So here's a list for the best deals for those who are itching to travel like me abroad. Dubai, for example, has dropped its usual prices from $700 to $300. That's more than half their package value. Insane. Next is Antalya, Turkey, where you can get a three-night deal for $429 compared to last week, where the package deal cost was $599. Now, third is the beautiful country of Prague for a deal of $220 compared to Passover's deal of $611 per person. Insane. Now, this drop of prices can save up to 30% of vacation expenses. So... It's best to take advantage of this now before they go back this summer. You know where I will be next week. So uh, that's it for today. And back to you, Aaron. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.